Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about one line XOR gate. So let's look at this first. One line XOR gate. So firstly, we will discuss about what is XOR gate. So in an XOR gate, the output of a two input XOR gate will be on when one input is on and other input is off. Otherwise, when both inputs are at same status, then output will be off. So as you can see here, when both the inputs are zero, then output will be zero. And when both the inputs are true, th that is when both the inputs are one, then the output will be zero. So in these cases, both the inputs are same and the output is false. But in these cases, when the inputs are different, one is false and another is true or one is true and another is false. So in these cases, the output is true. So for output Y to be true, only one input should be true and another input should be false and then only output Y will be true. So, <clears throat> XOR gate can be implemented in only one line in Schneider Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. So, we will move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram and implement XOR gate in only one line. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the black password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here so for now i will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection and then i will click on apply so after that i will go to configuration tab so here we have to select the logic controller we have to configure the device in this tab so here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line, where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus ASCII 
TMS 2 GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMS 2 GDB for now. And then I will click on apply. So if I keep protocol as TMS 2 GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder dice. So firstly, I will click on this option to set a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, we will draw a ladder diagram and implement XOR gate the way the typical way. So we'll insert one normally open contact, one normally close contact, and then one normally open contact and another normally close contact. And then I will insert a coil. And then I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as A. Yes. And then I will assign address to this normally closed contact as I 0.0. .0 and I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. <clears throat> and then I will add symbol to this as B. And then A. And I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. .0 I will also add symbol to it as Y. Yes. So for output Y to be on, either A should be on and B should be off or B should be on and A should be off. So I will exit full screen mode and I will compile the program and I will go to commissioning a launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen. So as you can see here both the inputs are zero. Both the inputs are false. The output is also false. And when A is true the output Y will be true. And when B is true then output Y will be true. And when both the inputs are true the output Y will be false. So I will exit full screen mode. I will stop simulator. And then I will go to programming. Then I will click on full screen. So I will delete these contacts and we will implement XOR gate in only one line. So I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. And then I will insert this XOR here. And I will assign address to it as I 0.1. That is B. So for output Y to be on, either A should be on or B should be on. And the another input should be off. So if A is on, B should be off, then Y will be on. Or if B is on, then A should be off, then Y will be on. So I will exit full screen mode and then I will compile the program and I will go to commissioning a law simulator. After that I will start controller to do so click OK. Then I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So as you can see here both the inputs are false. And the output Y is also false. And when I turn on A, the output Y will be on. And if the input B is true only, the output Y will be on. And when both the inputs are on, then output Y will be off. So in this way, we can implement XOR gate in only one line. It was all about this video. Thank you for watching.